let us do next program that is 8051c program to convert hexadecimal that given the data has hexadecimal value of uh, cf to decimal value and display the digits uh, in port 0 port 1 and port 2 so open the kill software so you have to right click on the source group remove any old file is there and uh, add new item to the source group select c file and type uh, xr to decimal or x decimal some name you give and uh, save so i already added i saved it as x decimal 3 so you have to type this program so include register 51.h since we are doing uh, 8051 header file is must then void main void unsigned care this is x decimal value uh, that let me take a uh, same value cf so x decimal cf value i am taking and we need to convert that one to decimals so in the decimal i think you are going to get hundreds tens and units so we have to declare unsigned care hundreds tens and units after that uh, we are doing x is equal to x or uh, x or value that x value divided by 10 so it is going to give you uh, in the accumulator it will going to give you quotient and uh, remainder in b register okay so port 0 directly you give it to b so that it will display units value and also save units is equal to b next once again you have to uh, divide that x value so once you divide x value in accumulator will have quotient that quotient once again you divide by 10 okay then accumulator will give you that uh, divide by divide once again so which is equivalent to 100 see here divide by 10 is there here also divide by 10 is there so uh, the new accumulator value will be now actually 100 position okay so it is divided by 10 divided by 10 is equivalent to divided by 100 so it is going to give you accumulator will have one more new coefficient which will indicate hundreds so place that under uh, where we declared hundreds is a care only so 100 is equal to accumulator as well as and remainder new remainder is uh, in b register so it is place that into tens variable and if you want to display that in ports also that uh, accumulator is actually having uh, hundreds that one you send it to port 2 and uh, b register you send it to port 1 so port 2 indicates hundreds port 1 ends and port 0 indicates unit places so if you want to see what is cf in hexadecimal go to hexadecimal uh, type c and f what is the equivalent we should get you can say in the cf is equal to decimal 207 so expected output for hexadecimal cf is equal to decimal 207 and that means 7 should display in uh, units place 0 should display in uh, 100 place 2 should be displayed in uh, 100 place and 0 in tens place okay so port 0 7 port 1 0 4 2 2 that is the expected output now let us compile this program we are getting 0 errors and 0 warnings start debug okay so three ports are already open if it is not there go to peripherals open port 0 port 1 port 2 these three ports are visible by default it is showing ff all are 111 only and uh, you have to verify the output in uh st full stack uh, local windows it is available here watch windows next to that call stack window and observe so you can see here hexadecimal value hundreds of tens and units these are the variables declared as care so size is only eight bits so that uh, here they had given hexadecimal value as cf if they give higher value you have to change this value to int value okay if they give some post four digits then you change this character to int okay and uh, on this decimal actually we have to declare it as uh, if it is still a year number you can declare it as long okay in the question only they are given two digits so care is enough now 
let us start the step by step click uh, this button step over see hexadecimal value cf it is unsigned char type now observe the registers so this is a project window this is a register window observe in the register i am dividing x is equal to x value divided by 10 immediately you are going to get quotient as uh, for example in the hexadecimal i am taking cf divided by 10 decimal 10 decimal 10 means a decimal 10 means a you are going to get 14 okay let us check it now i am dividing this by 10 accumulator will contain quotient b will contain remainder a is containing quotient of 14 i divided cf by 10 10 means in a hexadecimal you have to take a cf divided by 10 is 14 but remainder is also there what is the remainder is you can see remainder is 7 register b see once you do some operation some registers will get highlighted so a and b are actually modified a is containing quotient b is containing remainder so 7 is actually the unit place so that you have to send it to port 0 as well as to variable units variable uh, this units it i declared here no there also it is coming and you can see in the port 0 we displayed the uh, the unit once you convert cf to decimal 207 no that 7 is coming here so still we need to convert that 14 that 14 we have to convert to uh, again hundreds and tens so again i have to take x is equal to x by 10 so now actually uh, we have 14 no this 14 again you divide by 10 so that uh, it is now uh, divided by 100 so again i dividing 14 by a what is the answer so 2 2 is actually 100 and a will contain 2 and b will contain new uh, remainder once you divide 14 by a that is 10 we will get quotient as 2 remainder as 0 okay so now we need to transfer b uh, 100 accumulator content is what acc you should not write a only in the actual uh, you have to write ACC for accumulator and register B, you have to write capital only. This is a case sensitive. If you are using this uh, 8051, you have to uh, use accumulator ACC. Register B is this one. Okay. So now uh, we will transfer that accumulator content to, to variable we declared uh, hundreds in care only so uh, you can also observe here also it will come to 100 hundreds is loaded with two similarly um, the b in the b remainder is there now that also goes to tens variable by default only zero is there so it will not highlight if any modification is there then only it will highlight so for that we need to transfer to ports also because in the question that is as good to display in ports also so zero now it this should convert to two so two zero seven so this is the expected output so actually c seven is the hexadecimal 207 is the decimal input similarly i can take uh, the maximum number you can give is what ff for ff uh, you should get 255 okay for ff you should get 255 so let me verify that fast okay so you have to stop debugging if you want to modify the program you have to stop debugging then change this one to f Save it, compile it, start debug.
so expected output is 255 here 255 so i will execute faster so that you can observe so you can see 255 so this is the output thank you